Okay, conditional probability with a formula. Um, I, I've never done a lot of work with with the formula for conditional probability. I've just kind of figured it out or used logic. But sometimes I think it's handy just to have a formula to puke out an answer. Just to want to make sure that you know what you're doing and make sure the answer makes sense. So in a certain city, the probability that an automobile will be stolen and found within one week is 0 .009. So there's two things happening here. Um, we've got event A um, would be um, stolen vehicle. Okay. And then event B would be found in one week. Okay, so we got two things happening. This is A and the probability of A and B, both of them. So that's that first sentence. All right, so we're kind of done with that for right now. Um, the probability that an automobile will be stolen is 0.15. And then it says, find the probability that, the, that a stolen automobile will be found within one week. Okay, so um, in this case, we know the probability of A and B is 0 .000, I think maybe one more zero. Nope, that's it, three zeros and a nine. And we know the probability of A is 0 .0015. Okay. Um, we also know that the formula for uh, the probability of B given A has occurred. So what's the probability that we find the car in one week given that the car was stolen? So we already know the car was stolen. Now what's going to happen? Well, that would be uh, the formula for that is the probability of A and B divided by the probability of A. So the probability of the two together divided by the one you know already occurred. So back here, I didn't, at first when I read this, I didn't see it as conditional probability. But, you know, this last sentence, if we reread that, it says, find the probability that a stolen automobile will be found within one week. So the wording was kind of tough for me. But what that really says is, find the probability that we will find a car within one week, given that it was stolen. So we already know it's been stolen. Now, what's the chances of getting it back this week? And that's, that's where I was messing up when I initially looked at this problem. I didn't see it as a conditional probability. So, well, we've got the two things that we have. The probability of, the probability of it being stolen, of your car being stolen, and it being found within a week is 0 .009, or 0009. And the probability of getting the... Uh, the probability of the car being stolen at all is 0 .0015. Well, we already know that the car has been stolen, so we've got to divide that probability out. It's already, it's already happened. So now we just want to know what's the probability of us getting that car back in a week. And if you divide those two, if you divide those two out, you'll get 0 .6. Or, so now that, since our car's been stolen, we've got, uh, okay, given our car was stolen, we have a 60% chance, not change, <laughs> chance of finding it this week. That's to me that's some of the hard hard stuff with probability is the 
just the vocabulary and and uh, finding your way around it. I I don't do very well with it until I'm alone and had a had a chance to absorb it and really read the read the problem. But uh, good luck with these, and I uh, hope it helps. And see you next time.